Hey everyone, I wanted to share with you my um, favorite new storybooks with Usborne and Kay Miller Publishing for 2018. Um, first up is You Are a Star, and it's about this little yellow snake, and he is in these black and white pictures on every page. And it talks about that in the world sometimes you can feel small, you can feel a little lost. It just gives you tips on um, things that you should be always being there for others and listening. Um, and figuring out what you like to do and what you don't like to do. And then at the very end, it says, Always remember that you are a star and you'll soon find your place in the world. And so the little snake turns into a star. It's a really cute one. My four-year-old has asked me to read it to her multiple times ever since we caught it just the other day. Grandma's favorite. We also have Grandpa's favorite too. It's a, such a sweet storybook. The illustrations are gorgeous, but it talks about what grandmas like to do with their grandchildren. My grandma's favorite chair has extra room for me. There's two of us play pirates. The two of us play pirates and we sail away at sea. My grandma's favorite qu quilt feels snugly warm like hugs. Inside we make a secret fort. Outside we study bugs. And then at the end it talks about um, my grandma's favorite book keeps changing every night. She loves to pull, blow me one last kiss when she turns out the light. And even when she's far away, she says the stars can see. Her favorite time is any time my grandma spends with me. And so it goes over the fun things that they like to do with their grandchildren, but that their favorite thing is just being with them. And remember, we have grandpa's favorites as well. Um, Cleopatra Bones is the newest in our Fast and Furious Racers, Racers series. Um, my kids love both of the books in this series. They are so cute. They have these little animals inside that race. Look how cute it shows you some of the characters here, and then there's more in the back as well. But in this book, they're racing towards some treasure and what they believe to be a golden chimpanzee that's out in the forest. And so there's a little um, lesson in the book as well. It's a really cute one. Um, my kids love it. Play Me Some Music, so sweet, beautiful illustrations, and it talks about how music is in our everyday life. Play me some music on a funny banjo. As we walk down the street, our hearts will aglow. Play me some music with a full marching band, a carnival of colors and costumes so grand. And then at the end it says, um, Play me some music on a black clarinet, a soft lullaby, my favorite one yet. Music is everywhere, just listen, you'll see, from the sound of the city to the, under the sea. So pick up an instrument and start to play. Music is magic, it can brighten your day. And then at the end it says, now it's your turn, can you play me a tune? And it, start, it goes through this cute little thing of how they can just play music on whatever they have. They don't have to have instruments, they can sing, they can, you know, tap their hands. It's just so, so cute. Giraffe in the Bath and Other Tales is one of our combined phonics readers. Our phonics readers are wonderful, but it is so great to get them in a combined volume because you get so much more for your money, and this is the newest one. And so this phonics combined book has several of our great phonics readers, Giraffe in the Bath, Chimp with a Limp, Spider in a Glider, Hyena Ballerina, Seal at the Wheel, Apes Great Escape, and then it has some puzzles and the answers to the puzzles in the back. And so it's going to show you it here is the start of one book. They are great phonics books for, um, I would say, really any age because you can read these out loud to your kiddos. But beginner readers love these books. Um, it even has a section at the beginning that talks about phonics and how parents can use them and things like that um, or how they can use the book. And then there's like some puzzles here that you can see, um, just testing different things. And then um, right behind that, some answers to those puzzles. Farmer's Market Surprise is super cute. It's about um, two characters, Addie and Alice, and they go to um, the farmer's market. What I like about this book, besides its gorgeous illustrations here, is that it also teaches counting and numbers. And so they go and get one honey um, jar, two things of cheese, three things of ice cream, so on and so forth. And they're getting all of these things. And um, Alice is wondering, like, why do they need 10 cupcakes? Like, why do they need all these things? And she goes and she sits in the garden after their long trip to the farmer's market um, while um, Addie goes inside. And what she doesn't know is that while she's sitting outside, Addie and all of their friends are inside planning a surprise birthday party for her. And so she thinks, like, did they forget about me? Did they forget my birthday? Um, and Alice comes in and says, Addie, you didn't forget. And you see all the things they got at the farmer's market. And it's just so, so sweet. I love this book. There's just so many ways to use it. 
Um, and then it's also at the end, it says you can search the pictures um, to find 10 butterflies, seven frogs. And so my kids and I have gone through, we've gone through all the pages and we'll try to focus on just finding the 10 butterflies. And so, so many ways to use this book for just a sweet story time, but also for learning. And then last but not least, how the camel got his hump. Um, this is a really cute one. Um, I love our Osborne picture books because they are this um, hardback book, but they're like this super soft cushiony um, cover here. Uh, and the illustrations and the colors in them are just so vibrant. But it talks about how the camel used to not have a hump. And when anyone would ask him to help do the work, um, you know, out um, on the land, he would just go, hump, hump. Huh. like just not want to just help at all and so one day the animals that were just so frustrated him found a genie and they asked the genie to take care of this problem and so the genie goes over to the camel and he's just trying to ask him like why won't you help all the other animals with all this work and he just keeps saying humph 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 and so by the third time the genie decides all right buddy like that's enough and he gives him a hump on his back and the camel asks why he gets it and the genie says um, because now um, you can use it to help others. And so um, he asks, how can it help me? And he says, it stores food so you won't have to eat as often, and you can catch up on your work while everyone else stops for lunch. Um, and it's, you know, you can use it to um, pull things and whatnot. And so um, that's how he got the name, how he got a hump on his back. But then he's still grumpy and, and not super happy about it. So it's a cute little storybook. Um, but that is my favorites of our new storybooks. I hope that you'll check them out. Um, there's even more on our website. Just let me know if you have any questions.